everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Rachel's Kitchen <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Twins and Pearl Knitting Podcast. Yeah. I'm Jo. I'm Rachel. And we are twin sisters who knit, design and like to share all of our knitting Project, projects, projects fibre goodness with you. Um, we're here, it's a very, it's, actually it's warmer than it's been, mm -hmm. but it's still quite a cold January. Um, it is the 12th of January. We've got quite a lot to celebrate we today. Um, it is the launch of the Simon, the Simon Show. So before we start that, let's just say welcome to yes. any new people. <laughs> welcome to people who are we returning. Never, we never quite get this before, um, We're on episode... 40. 40. Did you say that already? No. We're on episode 40. Um, so there's lots of, you can go back and if you, if you do like this one and it's mm -hmm. the first one you've seen, there's lots you can go back and, um, and have a look at. Um, what else? So we've got, got some admin. Got some admin. We'll do that first and then we'll talk about mm -hmm. Can I have a little bit of your lip balm? You can. Please. Um, <laughs> So we had the last time we podcast. It was our birthday, and we had a giveaway. Yeah, which is here. The um, prize. The prize is here. It is this lovely bag by I don't Button know up, Button Up uh, Handmade Conchita. A lovely Conchita. So it's a lovely chicy bag, and then inside is a set of minis from Ted Knits UK. And three balls of onion nettle sock yarn, and we thought that would make a lovely um, Maggie, Simon. Maggie, Simon, <laughs> anything you really want to you want to knit. Um, are we going to give one of the patterns? Yeah, we can give the pattern if they haven't bought it already. Yeah. So if you haven't got a Maggie or well, we've Simon, got a winner, so we know. Yeah. Um, so it's so, well, the winner is Susie Burke. So that we randomly picked. Susie, and her comment was, happiest birthday wishes, Jo and Rach, Rachel, looking forward to the new sock pattern on Friday, and that was my um, June socks, you know, mm. the happy kiss yeah. socks. So, so if you knit, if, if socks is your thing, Susie, then you've got lots of things to knit socks, but if you'd like a shawl pattern, mm -hmm. um, get in touch with Rachel on our email below. Actually, just, let's just say one of our patterns. Oh, right, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I will, um, to be actually, we won't, we won't contact you on Instagram, on, on YouTube. You'll need to contact us. You'll need us. to contact us. So I, when I, um, well, when I say when I edit, I don't edit. I will put your, <laughs> I will, I'll put your name. And your name will be in the show notes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So the next, we also had... For November and December, we were running the Bridgerton Sock Along, um, like for no other reason than I thought Bridgerton season <laughs> three was No, coming. we all did. Yeah, they delayed it. Yeah, so it was a, it was a, it was a. It started. I definitely saw an advert saying it was coming fourteenth of before, December before before yeah. Christmas. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, Knitting my Bridgerton socks what, during November and December. I think I, I, I did knitted... knit some. I'm not going to say I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I... <laughs> <I've knitted> for... <laughs> you didn't knit some. You continued. You did knit on some, but you, they were you didn't start any. Oh no, didn't start any. No, I continued. Away. Anyway, that ended on the 31st of December at midnight, and I was awake, so it did end on the 31st at, mid at midnight when I went to bed. But we have picked. Randomly picked just a random number generator because it was. Um, we have very minimal um, involvement, not involvement, but people getting involved on you on Instagram, and apart from me posting and Ruth loves to knit posting, I think, and she posted in this, she posted in the Ravelry th um, thread as well. So that's fine. We just pick winners from the Ravelry thread. So the first prize is a pattern from Ravelry, not necessarily our, a pattern from us, <laughs> up to the value of £10. And that winner is Mandy with an I, 427. 
So and who Mandy, did she get in touch? What did she make? And, oh, we can get in touch with Mandy on Ravelry really? and yeah. let her know. And then she the made Colin. Did she? I think it was Colin. And then there were two runners up prizes, which is just a pattern of ours. And they are. We can't, can't say, say it. Camp, Campus and Angie. Campus and Angie. Yeah. And and 59. We can say that one. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'll and get in touch with you yeah. on Ravelry and then you can let us know which of those, the last two, yeah. which of our patterns you'd like. And Mandy427 can let us know which general pattern on Ravelry yeah. she'd like. So all of that information will be in the description box below. Mm -hmm. And then we've, because we haven't podcast since the 17th of December, <laughs> we have a December winner to pick Sorry, our monthly... Know. We pick a prize monthly from the thread, um, show us your twin set and pearl um, whips that you're knitting from our patterns. And December's winner is Crafty. I have to say, anybody who posted on the Bridges and Sock Along could have posted yeah, in there have. too. Yeah. <laughs> Crafty Mum 66. And she was knitting a little road. road. Yeah. Can you do me a favour? Can you just move on my hair back? Because every time I do it, it mucks everything else up. Thank you. <laughs> Good to have a twin. Cool. So the other admin we've got to talk about yeah, is, is we gave we sent off our donation to um, the Lamb, um, which was the hospital in Bangladesh that we were supporting with all of our pattern sales throughout December. Um, we we pick a charity every December to um, support mm -hmm. and this year it was the lamb who um, Ruth loves to knit uh, used to, she used to work there as a midwife and she supports them with all of with a lot of charity work from her mm -hmm. using things from her channel so um, we're really happy we could do that we sent them 1500 pounds yep. um, I am getting in touch also with the foundation at my work who will match give 500 pounds yeah. um so that i'll sort that out in the next week or so um i just need to get the yeah. charity number from you and then that can all be sorted um, and talking of so we're really happy to do that yeah and we um got an email back actually saying how much we what a good start to the year it was for them so yeah so we really i think they're quite amazed that knitting, to, knitting yeah. can raise that much money. <laughs> that much money um, it is the most we've ever raised, so it's a very successful, um, thanks to Ruth promoting it as well, yeah. so really. And we also want to say thank you to Ruth, because she is running a year-long um, knit-along with our patterns. It is um, hashtag TNP year 24, so if you knit any of our patterns, you can join in. She has some really good prizes for the last one, mm -hmm. so I imagine she'll have some good prizes for the other one. Do I don't think she's doing that, is she it's not? too much, it's, this is just a gentle... Oh, right, long. okay. Um, we have donated some... There I've, will be some prizes. Well, I've, I have told her that she can give some of our patterns mm. as prizes. Um, she was very grateful but didn't want us to. But Ruth, we do as you're told. <laughs> we can give you patterns. It's the least we can do. And, um, yeah, so then today is a special day yes not only is it our big brother's birthday simon my hero <laughs> <laughs> who gave me his stem cells I get all emotional because i love him a great deal and he hasn't been very well recently and we've got worried about him aren't we but we love him and i hope he has a good birthday but he now has a shawl named after him. <laughs> As you know, we've spoken about Simons. We wore them last time, the other way round. Mm. <laughs> so, um, what you're doing? Am I in the wrong way? You're in the wrong way round. But he's gorgeous. This is the OG. Yeah. In Knitting for Olive. Um, I won't be taking him off because Singer's Joe keeps styling him off. <laughs> it's blood Look, orange and, and cloud. cloud. And it's so soft. It's beautiful yarn. I need some in my life. Actually, I've got some from, in, like a 
steely blue. Mm. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And Joe's is of no hair that, well, it's one strand of one strand of green, dark green, which is called bottle green, knitting for olive, and a pink mohair from Creme Key. Uh, the details will be down below. We have talked about yeah, it. Yeah, I times. don't know the number of yeah. the, the, the mohair. So it'll be in the show notes. So yeah, so you can um, add in a, a. It's a double strand of mohair mm. to make it fingering weight. Yeah. Can you imagine if you did two lots of mohair? You could do two lots of mohair, I guess. And it'd be quite a lot of strands, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think it's nice to have a mat and a fluff. Yeah. It's lovely. And I honestly so we're thought... we clashing a little bit. But, but I honestly thought kind of, when you... Because I thought that the green would be... Dominant. Dominant, but it's not, is it? It's pink. Somebody commented on the Instagram post, mm -hmm. when you started knitting in that green and pink, I mm -hmm. wasn't convinced, mm -hmm. and now I think it's beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. And we've seen those colours together everywhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Simon is out today. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This will go up later today, so yeah. you've got plenty of time. To go and get the introductory yeah. offer. It's on till midnight on Sunday. And you get 25% off with the code SIMON. So, so if you do miss it, if you're watching this in the future, and we will have added it, we to, will the, have added it to the podcast bonus, which is bonus, bonus 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get 20% off any yeah. of our patterns with bonus 20. Yeah. Apart from the charity patterns. Yeah. They don't, because they don't... All the money goes to charity. All the money goes to charity, so we don't discount those. Um, what was I going to say then? Talking of charity patterns, I'm going to come up with a new one for the lamb. Yeah, so we can give money to them for, you know, ongoing. Ongoing, yeah. Cool. So that's all of the... I think that's all the admin. Yeah. Wow. If we've forgotten Tw Only 12 any, minutes. If we've forgotten any... We haven't forgotten any. I don't think no. we've forgotten anything. Cool. So... How many FOs have you got? I've got four. I have got five. Should, we do, should I just do that now? Yeah. So I was part of the test knit for Simon. Obviously not one of these. And I'm not wearing him because I haven't blocked him yet. But this is my Simon. And I knitted him with a uh, Zauber Zauber ball, shuffle ball, Zauber ball, called Shadow Jumping, and a grey um, sock yarn. Four part. Actually, it's one hundred percent merino because it's Malabrigo sock in the colourway Polar Morn, and he's quite lovely. Although I think I need a two colour one. I think I need a solid, two mm. solids. I need this one actually. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I finished. You can borrow it for a little bit. I finished him just under a week ago. Is it the right way up? I think so. Yeah. And there's one little incident. But no, it's not. Um, yeah. So and I thought I was going to be playing. You know, when you get to the end of a, end of a ball, <laughs> and you think it's definitely, it's obviously, it's always more than you think. I have it in my experience anyway and unless you weigh it you don't know yeah. and then I weigh it and it's like just under 20 grams so just under a mini and I'm like thinking that's a fifth of a ball yeah of course I'm gonna have enough yarn but there's some beautiful bits that's my one of my favorite bits mm. and I like the pinky colors as well yeah so I'm gonna enjoy wearing him I should give him a steam block I think I think it's quite big yeah <laughs> um yeah so but I'm now I'm thinking I might have to knit another one. Although I do want to knit my fizzy, my green fizzy pop. Mm. Anyway, that's my Simon. <laughs> I did talk about it in the last so yeah. tonight and I, so I finished it. And, um, I was one of the few people that finished, actually. Yes, there were. <laughs> it was a bit of a funny time of year to have yeah. a test knit um, over Christmas because obviously people 
um, thing. Yeah, a lot of people are really poorly in the UK with COVID mm. and cold. This na- there's a really nasty cold going yeah. around, and a cough and all sorts of things, and um, and so yeah. So I was just well, the te- the pattern's obviously been tested, <laughs> has been tested, and um, just everybody seems everybody was loving knitting it. They just we well, had a cold. Didn't have the time. I had a sore throat that came to nothing. Mm. So I can't really complain. I've but. had cold and migraines have been my the bane of my life. Mm. Um, so my FO, my first FO is um, Hillary, which is currently being tested. Um, yeah, yeah, she's quite a long. <laughs> <laughs> she's a long lady. Well, you explained your design. Yeah, so I don't need to show you that she had to talk about it that much. No, I mean, you design, you showed how you're, yeah. that's how you wear it. Mm. I mean, I'm not sure how it, that's how everyone's going to wear it. No, but it. when you, even if you just tie it around your neck. Oh, that bit kind it of. It scrunches, and that's that bit the bit scrunches, and that's the bit Oh, it's so soft. So I, this has been. I think I'm going to have to get some more yarn. This has been wet and unravel. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's in the colourway so of island decan- dust. So it's wool decanted. Yeah. So the, the pattern's been designed in collaboration mm. with Wool Decanted. They have this beautiful, um, it's their Vintage 23 um, four ply. Mm. Um, Has it got like a grey undertone? Yeah. yeah. It's got a tiny bit of, oh, I didn't bring the label with me. I talk about it on other, on other episodes. And it will be coming out for Unravel next month mm. um so you're either gonna have to post it to them i was thinking we'd go on fri on the friday for unravel i'll i'll message them and find out what okay. they want me to do um yeah so you um people have been asking when we, what day we were gonna go yeah you get this bit in the front when you wrap it round. um so yes yeah, so i finished yeah. hillary so if you look on our grid if you're on instagram there's a lovely joke the picture that the picture for the test call Joe styled it on the mannequin and, look, mm. and it's lovely, yeah. <laughs> That's one of your FOs. That's my, one of my FOs. Hang on, I'm going to just it that one. What, one, two, three, three more. Because yeah. I've got three lots of socks. Okay, do three lots of socks then and I'll do my socks. Okay. So the first pair that I finished were my Anthony socks. They, these were my December Bird Street. Which I talked, She's I talked, just showing off, you know. I talked about them last time. Just because you haven't finished your Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in gingerbread martini. I think they're rather oh, nice. Gingerbread martini is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. And they're sparkly. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Have you seen the new colours from Bird Street? Yeah. The Doctor Who ones. Mm. I know. I have Stop bought, tempting us I have bought I them. have bought yarn this this year, but I don't um it's not arrived. Yeah. <clears throat> oh no, it's not arrived. It's arrived some of my, some of it's arrived, some of it hasn't, but I also you know But we decided not to talk about it, didn't we? In that yeah, we're gonna talk about it next time and all of it's maybe it's only a couple of wool. It's not mm. Right. And then my They look massive. Oh then I'll explain. Okay. <laughs> And then I knitted, I cast on um, this sparkling peppermint. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sparkling peppermint. Which I did show these last time as well. These are my Christmas at Bridgerton socks. Without the, you didn't do the thing. No, I didn't do the back bit. And there are two of them. So I finished those. See, she's just showing off. Just to show off to Jo. And then these were knitted as a tube. Um, it's candy cane by Pixie Yarn, and I wasn't I think I showed you did, but I didn't have didn't have, didn't have the heels put in. Um, and I knitted, I cast with seventy two stitches because I wanted them to be slouchy. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be maybe too big for me, but they are. They're Christmas ones, so they're going did to be next. Did you not go down on the foot? No, you couldn't because you no. were a tube. So mm-hmm. I'm going to do the. They were supposed to be like you know. That's why I didn't do a cuff. They were supposed to be nice and. Oh, I think they would like with be. your jammies. Yeah, I think they would. Um, so they're kind of Christmassy. So then they're, they're not going to be. Oh, I'm going to save them for next Christmas. But who knows? Christmas in July. <laughs> um, yeah. So I finished those. Put the heels in. 
and <laughs> finish sewing the ends in half an hour ago. <laughs> so that's my three pairs of socks that have been finished since the last podcast. And do you want a block blocker? Dun dun dun. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to talk about them first. <laughs> well, they've already seen the pattern on your. So I have finished my Christmas upgrade. Hallelujah. <laughs> These have been on the needles since Christmas Eve 2021. <laughs> um, that's amazing, Joe. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> the, um, the thing I've discovered in that time is that I like knitting socks on a 2.75 and I don't like knitting... I didn't enjoy knitting socks on a 2.5. No. What I've and also you don't really like... Flex, you don't like... I know, I like a flexed flip. The other thing I've realised is that that one was knit on a 2.5 and that one was knit on a 2.75. <laughs> Have you tried them on? No. Actually, yeah. And there's more speckles on that one. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens so, but, right. but no, it's not blocked yet. But Do you block not, one? No, I haven't no. blocked any of them. But it's not... No, not huge. It won't, be, it won't be a huge difference. No. And I did... And she also... Did oh, I, made, <laughs> I might have noticed that I'd made a mistake on the first one. Anyway, it it's lovely. There. there. Yeah. Mr. Row out on the pattern. Anyway, kit should sewn in the ends. <laughs> Just need some... I'm sure with blocking they'll be yeah. very similar. You can, um, you can kind of... But yeah, that's this beautiful yarn Nathan. from Bird Street, the um, Waking Up Early. Mm -hmm. It's done. So now I've just got um, one foot of Anthony to go. And then Are you casting on another pair? I'm going to do some vanilla, mm. I think. I want to do the... Some nice yarns. That, that nice. the stripy one I bought in. Oh yeah, one's a notch. Yeah, I want to do a, just a plain. Yeah that that be good so i've got a hat and a shawl i've got a hat so do your shawl okay and then i'll you can so talk about hats i talked about casting this on in the last podcast because mm. it was going to be my birthday cast yeah. on and i was i decided to use this black currant color did you show the yarn i can't remember i vaguely remember yes. you talking about camel yeah <laughs> camel toe. No. Camel toe. Camel yarn. Camel toe was your I believe it was camel yarn. It was camel yarn, yes. I'm not talking about camel toes this time. <laughs> so, this is Cecil, my new version of Cecil. And he's in camel silk. Yeah. Baby camel and silk yarn is the main colour. And then there's a uh real Debbie Bliss Rialta lace black black which is obviously not fluffy then there's a <laughs> your sentence uh, yeah one. a Debbie Bliss angel party angel which has got a sparkle but you probably can't you can yeah, yeah it's got a sparkle and then some Rowan kid silk haze in like a black currant blackberry colour can you hold it a bit closer so you might see the colour um, and this is Cecil. Oh, that bit's more. No, you have to see. You did make a mistake, didn't you? Did I? You used the wrong colour. Oh no, I did that on purpose. Oh right, okay. I did that on purpose, but I ran out of the purple, so I had to add yeah, in. Yeah, you can see the purple. And this is. Um, a tiny bit of it's called Mildred by Giddy Aunt Yarns, mm. and it's got some purple in it. So I thought it. It's actually quite mm. nice when you're wearing just the little tail bits. I um, found some mohair that that kind of colour the other day when I was tidying up. So now I need to black one. Lovely, though. Yeah. No, he's gorgeous. And I've seen quite a few, I, well, not quite a few, I've seen a couple of black ones on and Instagram. And I have a 
cashmere hat and gloves that were that purple colour. Mm -hmm. So I I wore them with him the other day. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Oh, hats. Hats. So I, you saw the yarn last time, I think, that I cast on and knitted. It's basically a bonjour high hat. Have a look. <laughs> what have you done with your tweed? It was the make it tweed. Make it tweed it? with Melody from Drops. Which I've is never a, heard of Melody, is it one of Melody, it, no, it's um, alpaca, baby alpaca, but it, excuse me, it's knitted on, the suggested needle is eight millimetres, but I knitted this hat on four and a half for the rib and five millimetres for the main bit of the hat, mm -hmm. and I really like the fabric. Yeah. And then I did, it's, it's basically the bonjour high hat. Um, it is quite it's big, but then I've got quite a lot of hair. And I like to wear my hats when I've got my hair down. Mm. And it's very warm. In fact, I have been wearing it in the house because we <coughs> don't put the heating on. <coughs> my husband doesn't need the heating on. He is a very, he walks around in a t-shirt all the time. Although partly I think it's that he just would never let me, never show it because <laughs> then I'd be right, you know, kind of thing. Um, and I've got a heated throw, so I have the heated throw, throw on, but then my head gets the heat coming out your head, doesn't mm. it? So I put this on and it's very warm and I love the colour of it. So if you look close up, you can see the... Make it tweed. What, what was the made? What was it made of? The is it got alpaca? It's alpaca. I'm sure Melody. Have a look at what. Have a look at what Melody. It's is. gonna. It's gonna make my head itch. Is it? I don't. I, don't, I couldn't wear that alpaca hat, could I? Is it? Well, um, I'm sure you've worn Surrey. Well, I put Surrey with the one you try it on for the one I gave Kate. Try it on and see. Because it's lovely, and they it they is. Worked. They've changed the. Yeah, they changed the website. There's just not quite enough. Well, you could knit a smaller one. Um, there's not quite enough in one 50 gram ball to knit two. So it's light as a feather as well. It's like, and it uses hardly any of the 71 alpaca, 25 wool and four percent polyamide. But there's some lovely colors. Mm, there are. That one, hot pink. Hot pink's nice. Mustard's nice. Yeah, so, yeah, so I thoroughly. And Bonjour High is a free hat pattern by Strasbico. Espastrico. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just, I literally followed their pattern. And, yeah, found this lovely hat. <laughs> and I've had a hat too. <laughs> So when we, the blue hat from previous podcasts that I knit to go to Norway, Norway. Yeah. Um, when we went up to Yorkshire Yarn Fest, I showed it to Sophie from Botanical Yarn because it had the Sophie Cowell mm -hmm. pattern on it. And she's like, oh, knit me one of those. Mm -hmm. So she sent Rachel some, so she sent some yarn to Rachel's house that I picked up on Christmas Day mm -hmm. and I've knit Sophie a hat. <laughs> yeah, well, not even, it's <laughs> it's fluorescent, <laughs> and this beautiful. is the lace and. Um, so you decided you're going, you are going to write the pattern, aren't you? I am going to write the pattern. It might be exclusive to Sophie for a little bit. Yeah. We will, but you also need one to go with your Simon. <laughs> with that Simon, there's plenty left. You're going to knit another one. Yeah. I think you should. It's beautiful. It's very cosy. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes... It's the kind of pattern that you knit really quickly because... 
like deep bits, you know, mm -hmm. three repeats and then do a, a decrease. Yeah. To start to decrease with, but I love this pattern. Put it on again. Let me see the crown on you, on your head. Yeah, perfect. I like it. Oh, what colour shall I make? Put your hat on. Let's see if we can get our thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> Hopefully that will work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, these are the two yarns. Um, it's Sophie's Sock Yarn, which is 25% merino, 75% merino, 25% nylon. And then the Mohair Silk, which I think is 75-25 as well, isn't it? 75? Like 72-28? Yeah, something like that. Um, and together it makes a beautiful fabric. Yeah. Ooh. So, so yeah, you'll be able to get that as a part of a kit from Sophie, um, or from if we wait a little bit, it'll be in our. Yeah, I think we should not have a six-month thing on it. Do you want to be able to sell hat, the hat pattern? This. We'll see what she says. Well, you've got to write the pattern, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, that's tested. all my FOs. Yeah. How many whips have you got? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I didn't bring all my whips because, well, some of them I've worked on. Like, I've worked on Anthony. I've worked on all of these. I've added a heel to Anthony. Mm -hmm. I've added a good four inches to my olive cardigan body. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to bring it. I'm not going to work on them, on them while I'm at your house, mm -hmm. so I didn't bring them. Yeah. I've got three sock whips, two hats, a shawl and a sweater. We can move swiftly through some of these. Right, okay. So if we start with Cecil. You've made lots of progress. I have made Cecil. quite a lot. You've kept your progress keeper in as well, haven't you? I have, you? yeah. So... I moved and he's it. very different with the different base yarn, isn't he? Yeah. Like mine is so drapey. Yeah. This will be drapey when oh, yeah. it's been blocked. Yeah. Flora definitely drapes. Drapes. But that went yeah, yeah, that went around. So I moved my marker after the last podcast um, to where I'd finished. And since then I've added good on your face. Oh, how, how far do you, how, how much do you think I've done? I would say about nine inches. Probably more than that. 10, 10 11 inches. It's almost so really I finished. Nice I'd got to, when I when I when we when we podcast last, when we podcast last time, I got to the cent the section four, which is the middle, and I did. I've done the whole of section four and about a quarter of section five. So, yeah. I enjoy, and when I, I mean, I, he is a priority. <laughs> when I... I love the blue. Yeah. So I, um... Which, what's the blue? Oh, the blue's from... The blue's from Will Kitchen. Mm. She's electric. But I have... I've been suffering from castonitis. <laughs> so... Things I've cast on it, it's the minimum of what I want to cast on because there's at least two, if not three, other things I would like to cast on. Mm. So I am I am reining it in somehow, somewhat, in that I am not casting on another garment until I've finished it, or at least until I get well into the sleeves on the next one, yeah. which I showed, I did, it's another whip that I showed last time. And I'm not casting on another shawl until I finish finish Cecil. Socks and hats. <laughs> Three main. Yeah, so this one is my beige kind of hybrid sweater that Joe had a bit of a problem putting in the show notes last time because he um he didn't know which one I'd used to do what. But I and I had I was still on the yoke when we last podcast. 
And I've since changed my mind about the black yarn. I am going to need this, I think. So I'm using this. I have one, this is my only special, absolutely special skein of the blue merino tweed. Um, and I think that it would be a waste to knit And you've socks. changed your mind because you've got enough black to do... To knit another sweater. Yeah. yeah. So I've got... That's going to be in the sleeves somehow. Because I have knitted the length. So I've split the sleeves and I've knitted the body is now ten and a half inches. Um, it is big. Um... And I've got to the stage where I'm going to do the um, high-low hem. Oh, right. High-low hem. So it's going to have a wedge at the back. Yeah. And then it's going to have ribbing. And in the sweat, in the Arwin, which is what I've used the numbers from, mm -hmm. um, it's three inches of rib. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do three inches mm. of rib. After the high low hem. How many inches is that? That's like four. So three would be that much. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so then I'm going to pick up for the sleeves. I do like the two fronts. Yeah. <laughs> Knit a bit. I'm not, I think I'm going to do the decreases on, in the sleeves. I was going to do just full sleeve, deep cuff. But... Because I've only you got definitely one. want sleeves. Why do you think I should just do do it short sleeves? I don't know. I think it would look quite nice with a stripy top underneath. Yeah. It. Do you think I'd wear it more? Yeah. Have a think about it yeah. while you do your rib. Yeah. Because I think if you did a bigger rib on the bottom. Yeah. And you could do and you rib on like that much yeah. rib on the sleeves. Just do a couple of rows and then do rib. Very good. And then I've got my blue yarn for socks or a hat. Yeah. Imagine a muscle for that. And that would be gorgeous. So you wear so many different tops mm. underneath it. Yeah. You wear that top underneath it. Yeah. Good plan. Good plan. Because it's more like it's quite poncho esque. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But I'm thoroughly enjoying knitting it. And there's 400 stitches on the body, but I. Just mm. knit round and round and round, and well, when you do a stopping stitch, it doesn't really no, matter, and it does hasn't it? taken me long. And I, although I have this thing about getting back to the marker before I put it down, yeah, but really, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, <laughs> finish your round before you, yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna, ah, that's a good idea, Joe. Brilliant, that'll be done soon, then. Uh -huh. And I'll have probably have even some of this yarn left to make. I've already got socks, these this is what I knitted my whistle down socks in. Mm. The original pair. Shall I show the, the garment I've been knitting? Yeah. It's from the extreme to the... Is it a garment? It's a garment. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, thought so. you, I thought she was going to... She'd been talking about her olive, and I thought she was no, going to bring it out agree. of a tiny project bag. <laughs> no. So, um, my friend Kate is pregnant, mm -hmm. and I... Or was, was pregnant. I... So the baby was due. The baby was due the, sometime in February. I can't remember exactly when. Let's say mm -hmm. mid-Feb. She was booked, she organised a lunch with everybody mm -hmm. for the 30th of January for her to go on her maternity leave. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, oh, by the 30th of January, I can knit something for the baby mm -hmm. and maybe even knit a matching sweater for the big sister. The big sister. Um, so I got going on the baby one, started with some numbers from a, from a free pattern and then freestyled, freestyled it. it. Um, and then yesterday got an email saying, um, baby's, baby obviously doesn't want to go out for lunch. Um, he was born three at 3.40 in the morning and doesn't have a name yet. Mm. So I thought I was well ahead of myself. Anyway, this is the little baby jumper that I'm knitting. Mm -hmm. um, it's in oh, bamboo cotton by King Cole. King Cole. And the colourway is Oyster. 
They used to do a gorgeous four ply version, but they mm. didn't double knit these days. I don't know why. Um, four ply lovers, they. So I, um, it's just a little raglan. When I did the, the number of stitches for the neck, I was like, that's no way is that going over a baby's head. So I've just done like a little notch in the back. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put, I could put a button on it, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to, because I think that might be quite nice. Mm. Have, you, have you raised the back? Then short raised? No, because that would also, you could go in the front then. Yeah. So I think Although the, I've done a drop. Oh, you have done a drop. And there's a pattern down the back. Yeah. I was just thinking that they do things, you can just turn them around if they get something on the back, on the front. Well, you could do that. I mean, it's not like it's a massive drop hem. But okay. anyway, um, and I think I need, I'm just going to find out from here if it works. Mm -hmm. If it's annoying, then obviously I'll, it's not like it's going to last me very long, is it? No. Not to three months. But I did a little um, one by one rib detail there and one by one rib down the side, which I'm going to do down the sleeve as well. Mm -hmm. Makes it a bit more interesting to knit. Um, the only thing I've done, I've cast the bottom off. I think it's a bit tight, so I might unpick that and just bind off with a larger mm -hmm. needle. But I did a little bit of, of um, some short rows at the bottom, just to give the back, make the back a little bit longer. And did you? I always think the body looks really long. Are you going to put the pat the pattern that you use the numbers for? You're going to put it in the yeah in the show notes yeah because the magnet you did. You did the number of increases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do, they had short rows. Right. And I didn't do short rows. But yeah, it's a nice little pattern. Yeah. And they've got stripes and stuff on theirs. But, mm -hmm. um, cute. Yeah. Very cute. So, we don't know if it's for baby with no name yet. Mm. Um, yeah, but I love that yarn. And how much have you used so far? Is it less than a ball, I think? Less than a ball. And, 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 have you got enough that to much? knit a bigger one for the... I've got another three balls with that. This is the pattern that I print the front page off. By Karen O'Hanlon. O'Hanlon. Oh, cool. So put the information. I'll put the in information in the show notes. Yeah. Oh no, there we are. So how did you say that? Let me. I can't even. You even hold it. C O H R T. Court. I guess. Mm. Twisted knitwear. The yeah. company. Good old Magda. <laughs> Yeah, it goes up to um, 14 years. Wow. So, yeah, it's good, isn't it? I think I'll be knitting one for baby Rust for till he's 14. <laughs> <laughs> How many more? I think one more. Wait, right, so I'll talk about my socks. So, I have got a half finished object, I think mm -hmm. you can call it. So, I finished my first Kate sock so this is from Bridgerton season two and this is my birthday cast on in Christmas at Barbie's by Bird Street Yarn and it's lovely pinks and greens and I was a bit when I first started it I was thinking oh I loved I love the pattern and I showed them in the last podcast and I remember saying that this is I never didn't actually knit this myself the first for the design, Maggie knitted them. So it was my first time knitting them and I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I was a bit worried that it wasn't gonna show up on the pattern, but on the yarn, but I think it does. And when it's on your foot, it's, it looks yeah. nice, yeah. And that hasn't been blocked yet either. So. so I finished that one and I have cast on the second one and I finished the cuff. So I'll start on the leg of those. Um, this week, they're in my 30 minutes of knitting every day. I didn't show the bag. Oh, the bag is 
from Woolen Flower with embroidery by Stitch Birdie. Oh, I love it. Very nice. I bought it at that unravel a couple of years ago, I think. When we worked with Sophie the mm. first time. Oh. 2022, yeah. yeah. Um, and yours is in? Mine's a So Yarn Alicious. This is my Christmas mistletoe bag. And then I've got some, so my goal, my goal this year <laughs> is to knit probably you, vanilla, mainly vanilla socks in beautiful yarn that I have. And if you follow me on um, Instagram as the youngest butler twin, you will have seen the next one, which I cast on its Perth, Perth, Yarn by Queensland Collection in the colourway Port Piri. And what's it made of? And it's 80% superwash wool and 20% nylon, and it's like Australian mm. merino. And I posted a picture of the leg of this sock saying, This isn't how I thought it was going to knit up. Shall I keep going or shall I fog it? And it was the only knitting I had with me. So everyone said, just knit it while you're there and fog it if you want when you get home. Anyway, I kept going. Somebody said to me, um, it's lovely sock yarn, mm. really cosy. So I kept going. And this is the first sock, which I think looks okay. I mean, that does look totally random, but if you want to squish it down a bit. And... I think there is, you can see, I can see difference in that. That's getting greener. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't mind. I don't hate them. Like I thought I was going to hate them. Mm. But I don't hate them. And I've done the leg. I guess if that was more, if that faded more gradually. Because yeah. the rest of it, it fades beautifully. But also I don't think there's anything that colour in the rest of the ball. Oh, right. That light. Because that's where it's faded. Mm. Anyway, back into the blue. So I'm now How much yarn on the second, there? the second mm. um, sock, and I'm on the heel flap. So there will be a pair of socks, and that's the little heart that Joe, very risky for that Joe made me. Blue heart. And they're being, they're living I in a like vanilla sock. You know. They're living in a little grey girl bag that I bought at Unravel in September. I like the way it goes to solid green and then yeah, it's lovely that yarn. Is that colour? What I should have done was stopped it there. Yeah. So I started it again. Yeah. yeah, because but I didn't know, did I? <laughs> no. That it wasn't going to be, and I, it was kind of joined like a spit splice, and yeah. Mm, that's really what's happened, isn't it? Anyway, because I, They're going to be for cozy. some reason, I started pulling from the centre of the ball. Um, I wouldn't have got that bit. If I wouldn't have got that to that bit if I'd done on from the outside. Hey ho. Is there a life lesson there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, it's lovely yarn. Mm. So, yes, yeah, so that's my first vanilla sock of 2024. So I'm just numbering them. Vanilla sock number one. And this is vanilla sock number two. And these are for my dad. So I cast on um, the one of the birds. These are very bright. Yeah, this is... Um, I'm going to hold it. This is Green Woodpecker from West Yorkshire Spinners. Signature four ply. And again, I'm pulling from the centre. <laughs> it doesn't matter with this though, does no. it? Because it's, it's very uniform. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's the first one. 70 row leg from the dump. And... Yeah, so I when I get I get to I start the heel flap when it measures eight by eight and a half inches. 
Have you watched It's a Sarah? No, this week. Because she's knit a pair of socks and some opal yarn mm -hmm. for her daughter. So she's done slightly less stitches than a standard mm -hmm. 64. And it changed the... And it's completely changed. Mm -hmm. There's like no... the the There's one bit where it's just completely random. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks like a, an arrow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks like a crescent. Mm -hmm. And Lurker? Lurker? Lager from, from Fibre Tail. Yeah, she's yeah. done the same. Mm -hmm. And she's ended up... Um, she's done. She's, she's knit hers. They annoyed Sarah, so she's... Right. Knit another pair and cut out that section. Ah. Um, so I think... But I, that's very standard. It's very standard and I, and I will just have um, slightly and thinner stripes matter. than dad, than if you did a 64 yeah. stitch sock. But what you do find is that these bits in between... Are a bit random. Yeah, so they can look like blobs or they can look like checker board. But that and if you... Did a 64, what would they look the like? The thing that, I don't think, I think it would do the same thing, depending on, because mm. they look, they're the same. Um, they look different on different rounds mm. on this. but And also to me, that looks like dark green and that looks like grey or black. What do you think? Like some of... Yeah, that looks browny, browny. Yeah. Yeah, some of them look navy. Yeah, so it's. But I think he likes them, and my plan is, unless he watches this, because he's a bit behind on our podcasts. So I'm thinking that he he's got himself caught up in re reruns of Hall and Midwife. Yeah, so my plan is to knit a couple of pairs before I post them off to him. And th I don't think we ever showed these on here. <laughs> I haven't brought mine. So I got these made for us. There's a cup, obviously it's an Instagram ad. <laughs> and it's a Rachel's tiny tote bag. And I got Joe. Joanna's, was it? Joanna's tiny. Yeah, yours was tote black, bag. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so they're really cute. <laughs> so those are my sock whips. Right, I've got What's your other whip. A shawl. Right. What have I got? Two hats. So this is a very, um, well, oh. I don't know how long. When did we go to the Ox Oxford Yarn Store to buy the yarn? Because I would have started it fairly soon. Anyway, it's being kept. It wasn't the last time we went. No, it's being kept in my um, Cerise Sir um mm -hmm. bag, which she says is perfectly boring. Um, and then it's, I don't know, it's next to a very perfect, yeah. pretty badge. <laughs> um, yeah. I love these bags. They're nice, um, mm. closet legs. Well, they're not made as project bags, are they? No, they're not. So this is my fizzy pop. That's come back out See, of See, if you were me, you'd know when you started it, because you'd have written it down. It was like, it would be on the podcast. And... In this pop, this fizzy pop, I'm using um, beautiful colour alpaca two from Isaiah in the colour time from Oxford Yarn Store. Oxford Yarn Store, and I rewound that ball last night, and I have to say it's probably the most perfect ball I've ever hand wound. <laughs> um, and then this is Isaiah for um, mohair. I don't think it has a name. With the number. I the number. I think I've got the tag in here. The olivey colour one. I oh, have wrist ache actually. Um it is number sixty-eight. Mm -hmm. In that. And then some sparkle mm -hmm. from you got me that from Creme Key. Is it Creme Key? I think it's Creme Key. Is it not from Oh no, Party Deluxe. So it was from Hobby, wasn't it? Yeah, Go Handmade, Party Deluxe, a glamorous thread with sequins. Mm -hmm. And Hunting does, Green. How many meters do you get? You get 250. And I've got another, another ball of the green. 
And this is how, so I've, I'd got to, so you do nine repeats on section three and I'd done eight when I finished. Right, when you put it on hold. When I put it on hold. To do, I can't remember what it was. Probably, it's a long time ago. It was probably Cecil. Yeah, it's probably the summer. Yeah, or oh, just before the summer. Um, and I've now done, finished that, done the middle, and I'm on to the decreases. Oh, so this is the middle? This is the middle here. These oh, three. right, okay. But I'm absolutely loving this yarn and this combination. Mm -hmm. Oh, they really are gorgeous pop. Mm. So I'm deciding whether this might be the yarn for my next Cecil. Mm. The black one. Mm. So we'll see. But I'm loving it. And now I haven't, I've got some ideas for some new designs, but I'm letting them percolate for a little bit Good. Rather than... and I'm going to finish this and my olive mm -hmm. and then I'm going to I'm going to have January, the rest of January just mm -hmm. just knitting Can on I just look things that I like <laughs> and then I'm going to start thinking about another design. Have you brought did you Ravelry? Right, if I look up quickly the pattern that you have there. Um, yeah, but this, so you can add in this thread and it doesn't make... It doesn't change your gauge. I think it's because this alpaca 2 is quite, is 250 metres for 50 grams. So it's that little bit thinner. Yeah. And then when you add the two, gram, two mm. strands of mohair and you add the... It does make a firmer pop. Yeah. I would say, but that's just more of a pop. Yeah. Isn't it? It's beautiful. Sparkle. I wish I'd had some sparkle in my navy blue one. I'm, um, I'm I want to get it finished before the winter ends. So you can wear so it. So that I can wear it. Because yeah. I think I wouldn't want to wear the necessarily with the sparkle in the yeah. in the But now you're down summer. now you're on the decrease, you oh, yeah, go so quick. Fly. Yeah. It's gonna fly. That's what happened to me with Simon. Yeah. And then I got past them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. So, I, uh, where I sit to do my knitting, I've got okay. like, I would say more project bags with yarn in that I've kind of thought I'm going to make that with it. And, blah, blah, blah. and this skein of yarn, I've got like a basket, like a rope basket was sitting on the side, eyeing me up for ages. <laughs> I've is... got a picture of me. Um, I think I'd taken a picture of me doing something in my craft room. Mm -hmm. And on the back behind me was three balls of a yarn that I'd caked mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And it was like, they're just looking at me. Yeah. They, want, they want me to start. They want so, me to do something with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of happened to me this week. So, and this has been, this is living in my... Um, Yorkshire Yarn Fest cut bag from the Yorkshire Yarn Fest bag from the last Yorkshire Yarn Fest oh, botanical me. yarn. Excuse me, the old top one. That's gorgeous colours. So this is called is by Mondial. It's from my local yarn store, and it's called Lollipop yarn. And I had so the colour is eight. Three, six, and I'm not sure what the content is. 45% 40, microfiber PC. Is that post? 30% microfiber PA. 15% yeah. new wool and 10% mohair. So I had a skein, a bright pink, pink to like, Corally red. It's got a knitting skein. pattern on the label. Yeah, it has. Um, from my local yarn store. Um, and I knitted a bonjour high or a getting warmer. <laughs> Literally, there's a knitting, sorry to interrupt, but there's yeah. a knitting pattern in about six languages. Yeah. 
<laughs> the inside label. So I knitted a getting, it was getting warmer kind of net like thing from um, Spastri Co. And they had it as a sample and gave me this skein, which is more what I'd wear um, instead. And there was a lot of white in the middle. So I can't remember what a picture of what the thing looks like when it's not been knitted. So I had this idea that I would hold the outside and the inside together and marl it. So I looked for bulky weight hat patterns. And this is the one that I decided to knit. It's called the Ardley hat by Kate. I'm sure it's not pronounced, it's Gagnon. <laughs> um, what's this? Osborne. And she's done a bulky year, a year of bulky hats. So that was the Ardley hat. We'll put the information down below. Mm. And I started this like two days ago. So I've done about, I do, it's part of my and half you're an hour. And you it on the needle, right needle? Really. Yeah, so I'm knitting it on five millimetre for the ribbing and six millimetres for the body of the hat. So, and I quite like it. <laughs> so I've done like three of the cables. Can you see what you're doing? Yeah. I can <laughs> see what I'm doing. Um, I don't think it's going to be like screaming obvious, obvious. Apart from the cables do cross over to the other band right like, so it will um but it's very soft Excuse me. it's got to that point in the afternoon it has we I need a cup of tea and a biscuit I need a nap. <laughs> um yeah so i'm just gradually knitting that to use up this cape of yarn and it is starting to go a bit lighter blue paler blue now mm. so i really like it so still got white no, it's all grey to go, yeah. Mm. So this will be done by next podcast and I will try it on for you all. It's very much a... Try it to feel less softer. Oh, sorry, I don't need to smell it. Mm. So it's the softest. Oh, right. It, like, sticks to the I can feel... roughness on my hand. Yeah. I you can feel what nylon. Mm. It's really warm though, isn't it? Yeah. And it might be water repellent. Mm. <laughs> I do like it. I like it. I don't think Joe likes it. <laughs> I just, I don't, well, I'm very much a um, small gauge knitter. Yeah. I don't knit anything on, on a high gauge very long. Well, hardly anything on a high gauge. Yeah, but you'd buy something like that and be like, I feel knit that myself. Anyway, no, I like, I like colour. The pattern is literally 24 rows. 24 mm, rounds. I'm so sorry, people. 24 rounds, we're, we're nearly finished. 24 rounds, and then you start the decreases. So. Mm. Right, to come on. Last but not least, and I've just got a couple of acquisitions. Cast on last night, and I really wanted to get it onto my bigger needle before I showed it. Um, so this beautiful skein of yarn is um, botanical yarn. Everyone or anyone is well, welcome, everyone's welcome, welcome in, in my garden. garden. And it was the Unravel colorway for 2021. The first Unravel after COVID. And that's when you met Sophie. That's the first time I met Sophie, yeah. I bought a skein of this. And then I designed the Happy Butterfly socks for her in the, that summer and knitted them in a single, in this yarn. And she kept them and she gave me them as thing because I actually paid for it myself. <laughs> yeah, so it's got all these lovely pinks and greens and blues and yellows, speckles. And it's been in this bag with it's my... interesting to see how her dyeing style's changed. You think? Mm. But she does things differently for different... Yeah, mm. I know. She, she hasn't dyed something like that for no quite a long time, I don't think. So this is my bag, which contains my um, needles and everything to knit a muscle bra. <laughs> I didn't do that for a while. It's Rachel's go kit. 
<laughs> so I, used to have, I used to always have a muscle burr on the needles. Mm, so I cast on last night. And... Are you only using the flex, is it? Yeah, I'm on the... What size needle do you knit them on? Two and a half. I like a two and a half. And I knit the adult large for me, because I got a big head. Um, and yeah, so I'm on the increases of the section, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then I have Chagu sock needle tips on a thin cord. And I use that to knit the body of the head. And then um, go back to those for the decreases. Um, yeah, so this will just be round and round vanilla knitting and um, I mean I'm not going to the hospital until the 30th of Jan but that kind of thing when you've got just got a um, few minutes or, yeah. or a long time yeah and it will be in my half an hour of knitting so perfect yeah so my half an hour of knitting is half an hour on each whip <laughs> not just half an hour of knitting. Well, I think you can't cast anything else on then. So I... Um, <laughs> You'll be hitting me all day doing your half an hour of knitting. Well, I? I do tend to get them all done before I get out of bed in the morning. So, depending on what time I wake up. Mm. I do two and a half hours of knitting before I leave my pit. <laughs> Which I know is, you know, pretty much the dream. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm so glad that I've started that. You mm. said to me last night, just cast it on. Stop talking about it. Just cast <laughs> it on. So, yeah. And this is living in... This is a patchwork petals. I don't know if that's the name of the brand. I literally got it off Etsy. And it's a cosmetic. It's sold as a cosmetic bag. Or a, Very it's so pretty. And it's just lovely material. And inside is lovely as well. So, yeah. So, those are... Oh, my whip. So I literally went from having, I was so, I've been so like one thing at a time. Have you? <laughs> I was for a while. I don't, I don't, I never got that impression. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, I had like one shawl, one sweater, and one oh, sock. Right. Like on the, and then yeah, just cast it all on. <laughs> yeah. So that's the last whip. So we've got, I've got a couple of, you have got more whips though. But it's not here, so. but not as many as that. Okay, I have got a couple of project bags too that I've purchased to me share. Me too. I've got my birthday ones to show that you bought me, and then that's it. Yeah. So quickly show those. So shall we? very short acquisitions. So if people don't like acquisitions, it's only going to last a minute. It's going to last like five minutes. Yeah. So you start with your birthday. Yeah, because mine was these birthday ones were first. So I've been using this one hold my sweater until it got too big then it progressed to the pamper bucket um, these are from bed of roses so if you hold that one joe bought me two of these for my birthday and this one's got lovely pink linen on the back and that one it's like a natural on the end of it and then this ribbon came off the present that sophie sent us for her birthday and this so, one's got a little bird down here yeah so they're lovely bags oh and a little bird down there and that's what the beautiful little flowers on it. And I haven't used this one yet. So, yeah, they are lovely. They don't really have, they only have her little thing there, the B.O.R. Mm. So, yeah. That feels like it's Sari's silk. Hmm. Yeah, that's linen, that one's linen. -y. Then I was watching Instagram. I was on Instagram the other day and um, Conchita from Butternut Handmade put a post up saying, two of these on my website now. <laughs> <laughs> run, Joe, run. Etsy, Etsy shop. And I was like, oh, I love it. And I got there and there was one and it was in somebody's basket. So I basket jacked, if I'm not the right word. Cart jacked. <laughs> and it's this lovely little drawstring bag and I just love these little Beautiful. birds it's flying over the fabric. mountains. I don't know because it's got metallic. She might. But she well I don't know but anyway it's got this lovely lining and this nice 
the drawstring. And then inside with the package was a message saying, thank you for continually supporting my little shop. And mm. she put this little pouch in Beautiful. for me. And she, this is definitely hand embroidered. Mm -hmm. Which, so she's so quilted, she quilted the two fabrics together and then done some embroidery. Mm -hmm. That's a little notions, notions pouch. pouch. Or I think I might um, put lipstick. And... Okay, I thought you were going to say no. Start the beginning, in my... the beginning of the project. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> I'm so going funny. to put my lipstick in it in my handbag, I think. <laughs> so funny with your little this bag. goes, this is the same, oh, I it's think the same it, colour, but it's not exactly mm, the same. I think it should be a notion, Notions page. Personally. Mm. Personally. Right. Anyway, that's my, that was my acquisition since my birthday. Yeah. And I bought a bag from Hannah, of Hannah's Happy Space. Is that right, isn't it? Happy, happy place. place or Happy Space, space. I'm not sure. Happy. Anyway, she's a friend of Ruth. We will look it up and make sure she's we get the right Ruth. thing in the... Uh... She's a friend of Ruth loves to knit. Ruth, sorry, Ruth from Ruth loves to knit. And it, I needed, needed, I really wanted <laughs> <laughs> some Christmas bags because I don't have any that are overtly Christmassy. Any? We've definitely got a fibre fox. I've got a glow in the I know, the but like a little... Mine's little. Is it? All oh, right, okay. So I got this one with um, little deer sticking their head through reeds. Mm. Really like. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And this, yeah, and that kind of drawstring, I kind of tuck it down, tuck those inside, and then it's like a little. Hmm. And it's very cute for socks and for going your handbag. It just yeah. squishes up. Yeah. So she has a Kofi shop. Coffee shop, you know. Kofi, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so if you follow her on Instagram, it's, it's linked. And I think she does save when mm. she's put stuff in it. Yeah, so that came in between Christmas and New Year. And I started using it straight away. Yeah. So, but now <laughs> it's going to go, I do feel it's no longer. Yeah. So... Um, that's everything we were going to talk about, apart from, I'm just thinking about things that are coming up. So next, the next time we get together, we're going to be going to Sophie's yes. Open Studio in End York. The last weekend last in weekend January. Weekend Jan, and that's probably when we're next podcast. Um, yeah, sorry, miles away. I was thinking, and I, then, I was thinking I haven't booked the room yet. And then <laughs> February, suspect. we're going to unravel for the day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we don't know yet. You don't want to go Saturday, do you? You want to go Friday? I'd rather go Friday than Saturday, I think. And also, we could take the shawl, yeah, to all the guys. I'm happy with whatever. Um, um, so if anybody's planning to go on Friday, yeah, um, get in touch, yeah, or get in touch, or keep an eye out yeah. for us. Um, I'll be the one with the walker and she'll be <laughs> carrying all the bags. <laughs> she'll be lifting it down the stairs because it's quicker than going in the lifts at Unravel. <laughs> I quite like that lift though. Mm. And last time we had a lovely time. We got a table. It was quiet, in the, wasn't it? Yeah, and we got a table in the restaurant and people kind of came to us to chat. Mm. So that, that might be quite a good idea this time. We ended up being there for like two hours, didn't we? Mm. Just chatting to people, it was great. Um, yeah. So that's the next few things. And then we are going to Wonderwall in April. And um, that seems like quite a long time ago, time away. Mm. I'm hoping I can... I've got a holiday before that. Yeah, you'll be fine. No time difference. No. South Africa's no time difference. Yeah. So many oh. waffling on now. Mm. It's got to that. <laughs> it's got to the waffle section. It's got to the waffle section. Stop talking. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So if you've well, made it this far, yeah, thank you very much you for joining us. us. You can put up with this for this two seconds. Go and check Simon out because even yep. if you, you know, like just looking at him on mm. Ravelry helps to bump him up the, yeah. the algorithms. Yeah. And um, we love him. Yeah. We're going to go and chat to the real Simon now, I think. Yeah. Give him a quick call for his birthday. So have a great weekend, everybody. This mm -hmm. will hopefully go up tonight. Yeah. And then, and then show notes to follow. Yeah. As soon as Joe has done them, which will be soon because it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> or when Hobbsy do it. Or Sunday morning or yeah. something. But um, thanks for joining us. And... And if there's anything that we don't mention ever, please, clearly in the show notes, please get in touch. Yeah. And we will do our hardest to help mm -hmm. you out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye. Bye.